For this video, we're going to show you cooking filled pasta, um, and this is one of my favourite filled pastas, um, agnolotti with a ricotta and parmesan filling. And we're just going to drop this into some boiling salted water, about two minutes for that to cook. We're going to make a quick sauce to go with it. This is a vegetable stock reduction, so I've reduced down some white wine and some noli pra, um, some dry vermouth, and added. Once that's reduced down, we've added veg stock to it and then reduced that down again. And we're just literally putting a couple of spoonfuls in the pan. We're going to get that up to the, the simmer and then we're going to whisk some butter into that just to create a really simple um, chive butter sauce to go with the, uh, the agnolotti. So this just needs to reduce down very, very slightly. You want about a dessert spoonful of liquid left in there and then we'll come back off and we'll go in with our butter nice cold butter and almost off the heat just whisk this into the pan and this is just to form an emulsion while the, uh, the pasta is finishing cooking there and it's probably going to take about 25-30 grams of butter a couple more knobs of butter just in to finish that and just whisk that last bit in just on and off the heat just warm enough for the uh, butter to melt into the sauce but without boiling it now and my pasta's looking about done so I'm just going to pull this off the heat a minute so all I'm going to do is check the pasta just to uh, touch it on the joints give it a squeeze and it's nice and al dente still, but it's not too firm. My sauce is here, so we can go straight in with the cooked pasta. And the little bit of water that's clinging to the pasta will have a lot of the starch in it out of the, uh, the cooking. And that will help the sauce to thicken slightly, emulsify nicely. And then we're just going to work that through, allow that sauce to cook into the pasta just for a few seconds. So that's right down low. Don't want it to boil really, so I'm just going to push it off to one side. And then just ch chop a few chives to run through it to finish it right at the last minute. I'm just going to spoon that through and I think you can see that the the starch from the pasta has really thickened that sauce up, it started to absorb it. And it just needs a little bit of water in there, I think, just to finish it off. And that's why we keep the pasta water, so you can use that to adjust your sauces. Final taste. That's good. That last little bit of salt has just brought the acidity out a little bit more. And we're good to start plating up. Not too much sauce, just enough so that it's coating the pasta. Last little bit in there. And that's our ricotta and parmesan agnolotti with a chive butter sauce.